Typically, the Bank of Ghana will organize an auction for bids, and that determines whether investors want to roll over or withdraw their investment. But in this instance, the approach was different. Investors received payments, and the monies were taken back within a few hours. However, several investors successfully withdrew their monies before the reversal resulted in negative accounts. The rollover bills at a yield of 30.78% will mature on July 20, 2023, according to notifications received by the holders and seen by three business. It is unclear why the bills were rolled over because short-term instruments have been exempted from the government's domestic debt action program, which is yet to even take effect. So it cannot be that the rollover or reversal of the payments was because of the domestic debt action program and we know the government has this year paid interest on two different bonds that matured on the 3rd and 16th of January, respectively, indicating that the state is yet to default on its short-term obligations. The development will undoubtedly add to investor concerns about the state of affairs, and more importantly, it will dampen confidence in government assets in the future. Meanwhile, lead researcher with GCB Capital Carriage Booty says the central bank's decision to unilaterally roll over the cocoa bills will affect patronage of cocoa bills going forward. Bank of Ghana has helped in taking them off, paying their creditors. I don't know what is different with this one and the decision to unilaterally credit and debit the account at the same time and if you like forcefully roll over this instrument. Is, is quite a surprise and, and especially for those with some liquidity needs and are looking forward to say this flow to to find some expenditure or something it could be big shock to them uh what this leaves me wondering is there is about 8.07 billion of cocoa bills maturing between now and i think june this year and will this be the practice going forward uh